Hello students, how are you doing? I trust you're staying safe. Please do continue to stay safe. You're yeah, welcome once again to another online class. And today, we're taking the sixth topic on our skin, which is causative verbs. Causative verbs. Like we know that verbs are action words or doing words. So what are causative verbs? Before I move on to today's topic, before I move on to today's topic, I would like to take our learning objective for this class. Our learning objective for this class. So, at the end of this lesson, at the end of this lesson, students should be able to identify causative verbs in sentences. Also, you should be able to make sentences using causative verbs. What are causative verbs? Causative verbs are verbs that express the idea of somebody causing someone to help you or causing another person to do something. Now, this is a kind of verb that causes one to do something. In English, there are three causative verbs. There are three major causative verbs, which are let, have, and make. In English, there are three major causative verbs, which are let, have and make. However, there are other verbs that are similarly used as causative verbs. There are other verbs that are similarly used as causative verbs, such as cause, allow, help, enable, force, require, and persuade. So today we'll be taking the causative verb one after the other, we'll taking a look at their structure, how they are formed, and their usage in sentences. So the first causative verb here is let. What is the meaning of let? Now, let means to allow someone to do something. It means to allow someone to do something. Like I said earlier, I said causative verbs are verbs that allows one or makes one to do something, that causes one to do something. So let means to allow someone to do something. But its form or structure is let plus the object. That is the object of a sentence plus the base form of the verb. Let plus the object plus the base form of the verb. Let's look at the first example here. She lets her husband focus on his job. She lets her husband focus on his job. Now, what, looking at the formation of this sentence, let is before the object. Now, what is the object? The object is a husband. So, the subject in this sentence is she. Let is the causative verb. Why a, a husband is the object of the sentence. A focus is the base form of the verb. So the second example, would you let me use your computer? Will you let me use your computer? So in this sentence, let is the causative verb. The object is me. Okay? Will you let me use your computer? So let is the causative verb, and its form here is let plus the object plus the plus the base form of the verb, which is use. So the base form of the verb in this sentence is use. Another example on the let we have let us say what she wants. Let her say what she wants. So this sentence also follows the same formative pattern of the let causative verb. The let me drink water. The let me drink some wine after the interview. The let me drink some wine after the interview. Moving on to the next causative verb, which is have. Have is used when we arrange some when we arrange someone to do something or give someone else the responsibility to do it. Now this is used when we arrange someone to do something or give someone else the opportunity to do it. Now, what is the grammatical structure of have? I will have two major grammatical structures. For the first is have plus person plus the base form of the verb. Have plus person plus the base form of the verb. Why the second structure is have plus thin plus the past participle of the verb. Have plus thin plus the past participle 
of the verb. Now, the first, the example of the first grammatical structure of have. I'll have my assistant call you to schedule the appointment. I'll have my assistant call you to schedule the appointment. Another example here, the businessman had his secretary copies of his report. Now, I want you to know that add is the past tense of have. Have is the present term of present tense of the to be verb have. So the, the businessman had his secretary copies of the report. So examples of the second grammatical structure of the causative verb have is I'm going to have my hair cut tomorrow. I'm going to have my hair cut tomorrow. We are having our house painted this weekend. My washing machine is broken. I have to repair it. I need to have it repaired. So the last major causative verb that we have in English is get. In informal spoken English, get is used in place of have. Okay? So have is the formal form, while get is the informal form of have. So what is the grammatical structure? The grammatical structure is get plus person plus to plus verb. Now, the sentences must follow this structure to make a complete sense. If a sentence does not follow this structure, that sentence will not make a complete sense. So the first example, how can I get all the employees to arrive on time? How can I get all the employees to arrive on time? Okay, look at this sentence. Get is the causative verb. The person that is employees. Two. Employees is followed by two. Then the verb in the sentence is have. Sorry, the verb in this sentence is arrive. So how can I get all the employees to arrive on time? So the second example here, my brother hates house, housework. I can never get him to wash the dishes. So, get is the causative verb. The person is in, and the to plus the wash, which is the best base form of the verb. The next causative verb here is make. Make means to force someone to do something. To force someone to do something. Grammatical structure. The grammatical structure is make plus person plus base form of the verb. Make plus person plus the, the, the base form of the verb. Examples. After Billy broke into the neighbor's windows, his parents made him to pay for it. After Billy broke into the neighbor's windows, his parents made him to pay for it. The teacher made all the students rewrite their papers because the first draft were not accepted. The teacher made all the students rewrite their papers because the first draft were not accepted. The next causative verb we have is cause. Now, what is the meaning of cause? This means to make something, typically something bad, to happen. This means to make something, typically something bad, to happen. And what's the grammatical structure? The grammatical structure, of course, is Cost plus object plus two plus the base form of the verb. Cost plus object plus two plus the base form of the verb. Example, their divorce cost them to sell their properties. Their divorce cost them to sell their properties. Now, looking at the grammatical structure, we have cost. Their divorce cost them. The object there is them. To plus the base form sell. Their divorce cost them to sell their properties. So moving on to allow. Allow is the next causative verb. Allow means to give someone the permission to do something. Allow means to give someone the permission to do something. The meaning is similar to met to let. The, the meaning of allow is similar to let, but the form is different. The similar, the meaning is similar, but the form is different. Now, what's the grammatical structure of allow? 
the grammatical structure is allow plus two plus the base form of the verb. Allow plus two plus the base form of the verb. Example, you are not allowed to read my messages. You are not allowed to read my messages. So looking at this sentence, I'm also taking a close look at, at the grammatical structure of allow. The allow comes first. You are not allowed plus two plus the base form of the verb, which is read. You are not allowed to read my messages. They don't allow their kids to watch movies on week weekdays. They don't allow their kids to watch movies on weekdays. Now, it would be very wrong to say they don't allow their kids to watch movies on weekdays. No. This is a very wrong sentence formation because you must go by the grammatical structure of a, of a causative verb to make a complete sentence. So, you say they don't allow their kids to watch. Not they don't allow their kids to watch. They don't allow their kids to watch movies on weekdays. The next causative verb we have is help. Help means to assist someone to do something. It means to assist someone to do something. And the grammatical st structure of help is help plus two plus the, ba plus the base form of the verb. Now, if you take a look at the slide, you'll notice that the two is in brackets. So in the formation of a, of, of, of a, of a causative verb, using the L causative verb, the two is not, really is not really necessary. So it might not be necessary to use the two in this context. So example of this, I will help you clean the house. You can as well say, I will help you to clean the house. They are both grammatically correct. The next causative verb is enable. This means to give someone the authority to do something. This means to give someone the authority to do something. And the grammatical structure is enable plus object plus two plus the base form of object. Enable plus object plus two plus the base form of object. Example, his money enables him to buy everything he wants. His money enables him to buy everything he wants. So it would be very wrong for you to say, his money enables him to buy. No, it, 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 his money enables him buy. Okay? His money enables him buy everything he wants. Now that's a very wrong grammatical structure. So it should be, his money enables him to. So whenever you use the word enable, which is a causative verb, you must use to. Together with enable to make the, the, the sentence make a complete sense. Another causative verb is force. This means to make someone to do something against their will. Force means to make someone to do something against their will. So the grammatical structure of force is force plus object plus two plus base form of the verb. Examples. Trisha forced Roger to marry her. Trisha forced Roger to marry her. Okay, look at this. Take a look at this sentence. Trisha forced Roger. So Trisha is the subject in this sentence. First is the causative verb, and Roger is the object. To and marry. Marry is the base form of the verb. So marry is the, is, is the verb in the sentence. So this sentence follows the proper structure. Follows the, it follows the proper structure and it makes it a complete sentence. The lawyer will force the witness to tell the truth. The lawyer will force the witness to tell the truth. Moving on to the next causative verb, which is require. This means to hold someone to do something. This means to hold someone to do something. And the grammatical structure of this is require plus two plus base form of the verb. Require plus two plus the base form of the verb. Students are required to wear their school uniform. Students are required to wear 
their school uniform. Lastly, we have persuade. Persuade. What does it mean to persuade? This means to make people to do or believe something by giving explanations. This means to make people to do or believe something by giving explanation. The grammatical structure of this is persuade plus objects plus two plus base form of the verb. Example, I persuaded my dad to buy me a new laptop. I persuaded my dad to buy me a new laptop. So a quick recap on what I've been talking about. The topic for today is causative verbs. And I said at the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify causative verbs in sentences, make sentences using causative verbs. And I also went further to give the definition of causative verb. I said causative verbs are verbs that express the idea of somebody causing something, someone to happen, or some, causing another person to do something. So it's the kind of verb that causes someone to do something. I said in English, there are three causative verbs, three major causative verbs and other minor causative verbs. And the three major causative verbs are let, have, and make. And the minor causative verbs are cause, allow, help, enable, force, require, persuade, and others. I started with the first causative verb and I gave the structure I said the structure for let's is let's plus object plus base form of the verb to make a complete sense. For example, she lets her husband focus on his job. The next causative verb, which I talked about, is have. Also, get, make, cause. I said cause means to make, to make something, technically something bad happen and the grammatical structure is cause plus object plus two plus the base form of the verb allow l enable force require persuade which is the last causative verb on this topic i want to thank you for listening and watching this video i really hope you gained a lot from the video Please go back to your notes, copy your notes and read it. Attempt your assignments. And if you have any questions for me, do send your questions through the WhatsApp platform and I will make sure I attend to your questions. So it's nice having this class with you. Bye for now and I look forward to doing this again.